We got a fishing license. That means we are going to fish. Today is our fishing day. Our plan is to fish in two places. One of them is Grotto. The next second lake will be Lake Miniwanka. We will go there in the afternoon. Our goal is to catch and cook trout. See how it goes. Quick fact for you here, guys. So this Grotto Pond we're at right now is a put and take trout fishery. That means that this pond gets restocked very frequently with fish that you can catch and take. But even then, and in this case, we were not able to catch any fish here. And we spoke to a couple of local guys and they were only able to catch a tiny, teeny, tiny fish. But we wanted some real catch, so we had to move on. This is our second place for fishing, Lake Miniwanka. Just so you know, Banff National Park has some strict fishing regulations. You are not allowed to fish on cutthroat trout and on bull trout as well. As for the rest of the fish, like lake trout, brook trout, brown trout, you're definitely allowed to do some sport fishing and catch and cook as well. First, you need to have your fishing license. Second, you need to know what place to fish and how many of each fish you can keep. For example, our grotto pond that we were at allows you to keep up to five trouts per day. That's more than enough for family, I think. And second, at Miniwanka Lake, you're allowed to keep only two trout per day. Why we also love traveling is because you get to stay in new places and meet new people. Never could have thought that I would get the chance to meet this amazing, beautiful, kind-hearted woman. About 100 kilometers away from Banff, uh, we had to get here to do our shopping and just kind of reorganize ourselves. And so we rented out this place from a, a woman who has such an incredible story. Um, and you will get to see that. So we've watched the video about her and then we're going to share that with, with you as well. There's a link down below. So definitely go ahead and, and look at it yourself. It's touching, it's, it's heartwarming and it's absolutely moving. Um, for me, definitely that's how it was. So she is an incredible person that you will get to see for yourself. Uh, she's changing a lot of people's lives even right now after she was through a, an emotional accident of her own. This was our home for three days and it was definitely such a pleasure to stay here and to be a part of um, and to get to know this person uh, live and just to get to see who she is and, and what she is all about. Um, thank you, Michelle, for letting us stay here. <laughs>